Hi, good morning. I'm gonna have to do this video from work. Um, and this video is dedicated to Lily. She apparently has the same exact nebulizer I do. And this is my second one. I think this is also Lily's second one. So I have empathy for you. Um, this is sold on Amazon um, called the PGG Bro Nebulizer. Um, it's a portable mesh nebulizer. And I have had some issues about with it. So I went on the listing on Amazon and I looked at the frequently asked questions. There are 59 answered questions on the listing. Some of them are surprising. So the first one, the issue that I have is the battery life. Um, so I've kind of had a workaround where I take out the batteries after every use. But then I developed another problem, which was the batteries don't want to stay in even when you close the lid. It still wants to pop open the lid. And then even when I charge it, with um, it doesn't seem to last that long either. But that's actually secondary. <laughs> I ruined this nebulizer because I was wanting to nebulize with uh, iodine as another level of clearance of uh, microbes within my, um, you know, within my respiratory system, and I felt a, like great with it for a while. And it was working great, but then I realized that the iodine itself was leaving a residue on top of the mesh, and I couldn't clean it. And so now the mesh is completely clogged up. So with my first handheld nebulizer, I tried to clean it forcibly, the mesh. I have made every mistake possible with these little mesh nebulizers. So I hope that you can learn from this, learn from my mistakes. First of all, don't stick anything on the mesh. Don't touch it. It's a thin membrane. It's very delicate. And the second thing is don't nebulize with any liquids that are thick. So anything that's kind of oily, anything that's kind of syrupy, um, don't nebulize even in, with that. You just want to nebulize with something very um, thin like your saline mixed with your hydrogen peroxide. Um, one of the answered questions on Amazon was, can I nebulize with albuterol in the mesh nebulizer? And the answer was yes. So the other mistake that I have made with this is that um, I don't clean it after every use. I mean, guess really. And I was thinking that if I cleaned it with um, distilled water, I just ran it, that it would clean up this residue, but it did not. So, interestingly enough, you have to clean this nebulizer after every use with tap water. Tap water. And it says that on one of the questions, I took a screenshot on their Amazon listing for the answered questions. Um, I don't know who answers these questions. Presumably, it's the seller. And so what you do is once you're done with your uh, solution that you nebulize with, you, empty, you pour it out, and you put in some tap water. And the reason why they said that the, you have the nebulize, or clean the nebulizer with tap water is because it has the mineral content in there to generate a mesh. To, to me, that doesn't make any sense. Like to me, that would mean I got this calcified water. There's all sorts of toxins and stuff. I honestly, can I just say I'm a little skeptical about that answer. Like to me, I would just clean it with distilled water still. But that's one of the answers on there. Go and see for yourself. I will include the link at the bottom of this YouTube video in the description. Um, the other issue that I have had with this is the, um, it is very difficult to disengage this and it can be very, especially with liquid in it. So make sure you do not, make sure you don't have liquid in it because it'll probably, it might leak out. So the other issue I think Lily was saying that she was having is leakage and I I'm not quite sure if we can be more specific if you have like condensation developing around the mask and it's leading to leakage in the water droplets or any kind of your solution droplets. Um, maybe there's leakage around the seam of the mesh and into the chamber, the, tra the chamber where the 
um, the mist comes through. Hang on. All right, I'll be right there. So, um, that I'm not totally too sure. I think that I had addressed an issue of leakage around the mask by making sure that you keep a good seal of the mask around your face. So hopefully that helps. Otherwise, this is a short video. What I want to tell you guys is that I had a patient um, last week who just spoke to, with me on the phone and he and his wife both tested for COVID. Um, and actually on Sunday, I was feeling a little under the weather. I was feeling like my throat was a little sore and itchy. So I started nebulizing Monday, this Monday, and it is Friday. I nebulized, I was feeling kind of under the weather. I nebulized Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, I forgot Thursday, but um, I feel completely fine. I never developed anything more than an itchy throat. I didn't develop a cough or um, body aches. I just felt a little under the weather. I didn't develop a headache. So I was very much, um, in close proximity to this patient he wasn't he didn't look sick when i saw him and on the phone he wasn't really that sick either he had like a stuffy nose and he sounded like he had a cold frankly but um we I, we did quite a bit of work on him so he was very much head near me <laughs> mouth open and so and I did start to feel a little bit something. I don't, lately I have not been nebulizing every single day. I don't nebulize every day. Not even for my gut. <laughs> I'm so lazy. Um, so I just kind of like do it here and there like once or twice a week when I feel like my, my bowel movements could be better. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, also, finally, um, I highly recommend you guys read the book, the book, the original book that started this whole thing, written by cardiologist and board certified board certified cardiologist and uh, licensed attorney, Dr. Thomas Levy. He's a famous doctor. He's written many books. I will include the link again to that book on the description. And finally, um, it has come to my attention that I have Vietnamese YouTube family. <laughs> I had no idea. And those of you who might not know, I do speak Vietnamese, but very, very badly. And I'm so embarrassed. I just did a video on the spot about the nebulizer in Vietnamese. I'm so embarrassed. I might I haven't even seen it. I can't I can't bear to see it. So <sighs> I might I might I, I might I might have to brush up on my Vietnamese. <laughs> and speak to you guys a little later about that so oh one last thing I want to let you know I'm order I'm gonna go ahead and just forego these Amazon mesh nebulizers I this is my second one at this point I will have spent like 60 70 dollars on these things and I break them so I'm gonna go ahead and splurge and get the Omron Mac Daddy professional grade portable mesh nebulizer, which I will include a link to that in the description as well. It was $150. This is my last ditch effort. So I'm going to use, take all the mistakes that I made with these first two and then not make them in my next one. I'm gonna read the instruction manual before I start using it. And uh, I'll give you guys an update. So, um, I hope, Lily, that this addresses some of your concerns. Thank you for commenting, everybody. And um, be healthy, be well, and I'll see you guys next time. I have to go see a patient, too, so they've been waiting. <laughs>